Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but I'm also a drummer. So I do drum. So I, ve I very much enjoy drumming and doing uh, drum covers and stuff. And hopefully I'll do a few more soon and I'll be posting them on my Instagram so you guys can see. Um, but other than like, besides like music in general, I like to cook a lot. So Ty's Kitchen, you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Um, no, I like to cook. I also, uh, I like to like draw and stuff too, like color, like the therapeutic, like, um, like the mandalas, like very detailed coloring. Like I like to do that sometimes. And I enjoy writing too, like on my free time, just like writing. Um, what else is something? I don't know. I like to also like, I don't know if this makes sense, but like decorate things. So like interior design, like my room and stuff, like I, I love like all of my pillows to like be like coordinated in some way. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like that's something that I like to do too. Yeah. How about also decorating and customizing clothes? Yes, that's definitely another like goal of mine and stuff too, to like, you know, come out with merch and like design it and make it like personalized to me, but also something that like you guys will enjoy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's I'm also, I also want to like do like customized clothing and everything. But yeah, that's super cool. Before you ask the question, everybody, for your questions to be asked, please use hashtag Arsachi so that we could go to them and ask them for on Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter, not on any other platform, just on Twitter. So go ahead and use hashtag Arsachi, A R T S A C E, and we will most likely try to answer as much questions as we can for Victoria, the first girl in our Sachi to answer. Um, that one. It's from our Sachi Aesthetics. It says, what's your favorite TV show or movie? Mm -hmm. So another fun fact about me, I like don't watch TV. I don't have a TV in my room. Um, and the only time I do watch TV is mostly for like the singing shows. So like, America's Got Talent, The Voice, uh, The Four is like the new one that came out like two years ago or whatever. So I do enjoy watching those sort of shows. Um, but one show that I actually did watch during quarantine, I don't know if anyone's ever watched it, it's called Sons of Anarchy. And that was amazing. Yeah, my mom watched that. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it's like really, really good. Yeah, like, it's really good. It's definitely very, like, vulgar. Like, it's, yes. like, m like the summary of it is basically, like, a motorcycle gang in California. But, like, there's, like, different motorcycle gangs, and they, like, do, like, bad trading stuff, if you know what I mean. And, like, just, I don't know. It's, like, you know, very vulgar things, but I just enjoyed watching it because it was very, like, you know, active and a lot of action and stuff. Oh, all right, but Yeah. yeah. I <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to look for some questions right now. All right, so this is a good one. This is by May Vibes underscore. She said, what's your favorite quote to live by and what does it mean to you personally? Okay, so off the bat, my number one, I know it sounds a little bit corny because a lot of people do say it, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. I actually really wanted to get that like tattooed on me somewhere one day because I don't have any tattoos, but like one day I do want to get tattoos and maybe that will be one of them. Um, I just believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe in God, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. But I just feel like he is always like watching over us and he has the best intentions for all of us here. And I just believe that everything that happens in your life, like literally has a reason and has a purpose on why it's happening. Um, and that's just something that I like strongly believe in. Like you, you cannot prove me wrong. Like, if something happens, I'll be like, oh, everything happens for a reason. And if someone tries to argue me on it, I'm like, shh. shh. Yeah. Because I'll be saying that, too. I say everything happens for a reason and fear no evil. But back yeah. to for a reason, I also feel like there's a story written out, like, in the future, but we're just playing. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, I live off of that, too. I feel you. I feel you on that one. Yeah. Another question by the same person, Nay Vibes underscore, because this is a good question. Where's, were there ever a point where you didn't want to be an artist anymore? I'm going to say no, because even if I guess I wasn't made out to be an artist, I would still do something in music. Like music is like in my blood. Like I just know that it is. So 
I don't think there's ever been a point where I'm like, I don't want to be an artist anymore. But if it were to happen that I wasn't successful as an artist, I would still be in the music industry some way, somehow, if that makes sense. Okay. I support that. You're really passionate about this. this yes. Thing. It's a full 100 or nothing. So. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask you one more question before you do the last song. But this one, it says... If you're stuck on an island, what are three items you would bring, and who are three people you would be you would, that you would bring with you? Oh my God, this is so hard. Um, so three items and three people. Yeah, it could be anybody and anything. Oh. Okay, so it would definitely be my three family members: my mom, my dad, and my sister. So those would be the three people off the bat. But three items, I'm gonna have to say my phone, because you know we need to stay in contact with the world. You know. And what else? I guess a charger, right? Because you need to charge your phone. <laughs> oh, wow. and maybe like a makeup product or something just to like always have. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really hard question. Because like, it's like you can't pick only three. Yeah. You know? so. I wouldn't like strengthen it. Okay, no, so who are three people you would pick? She said only. Um, you said your dad, your sister, and your mom, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, so family, okay, put family on top. Now, yeah. wait, before, before we, you know, make you go to that next song, why out of all the things you pick a phone, charger, and makeup? I do. <laughs> Those are, like, the three things that I just, like, I'm always, like, using, to be honest. Like, I'm always on my phone, but you need, in order to be on your phone, you need to charge your phone. And then I also really just love makeup, so I would bring something related to makeup, or I would bring like a notebook maybe so I can write my songs. That's better. I'll do that. Well, well to switch it up, all right, how about if you were stuck in the aisle, not the people because you already told us the people, there's no service, and no charger ports, no nothing. Survive. Like, survive. you've got to survive, survive in that yeah. aisle. What okay, you... survive, survive. Hmm. So only three things still? Hmm? This is really tough. Um, is there food on the island, or do I have to bring food? Yeah, it's like yeah food. you have to find it, like coconut. You have to find food, so definitely something like that I can like hunt with, you know, like hunt down my food. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's see what else. I guess I could bring my notebook, like I said, because that'll allow me to still be creative in some sort of way. Oh, <laughs> and maybe. A microphone and an amp, so I could sing to my people on the island. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Cinderella, right? She sang, and all the animals came to her, or something like that. Exactly, oh. all the animals came to me, and I put on a show for them. Yeah, what's Cinderella, right? I don't think so. Is it different? Oh, you're talking about Cinderella. Like, like no. Cinderella or Snow White, where she was like in the woods. I was like, yeah, she was staying in the She had a yellow dress. Cinderella's blue. Was it Snow White? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Snow, Snow White. White. Snow Oops. Yeah. yeah. I don't know you. Disney princesses. I don't know. <laughs> Disney princesses. <laughs> but, all right, let's top this off because this has been amazing. Uh, um, sing one last song for us, if you may. And also, yeah. and why you Okay, so I sang a little bit of it in the beginning of the live. It's an original song. It's called Will It Kill Me? And it's basically about um, questioning in your head. If you want to love somebody, if you want to allow yourself to be loved somebody, at the end of the day, is it going to kill you? Like the expression like, oh, it killed me or something. You know what I mean? Like, will it kill you to put your trust in somebody and have somebody trust you and, you know, create a relationship? And it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could be a friendship. Like, you know, you always have, like, the doubts in your head before you go into new things. So you're just kind of questioning, like, is it going to kill me at the end of the day because I did that, you know? So yeah. that is why I wrote it. It's called Will Kill Me out on all music platforms. Make sure you guys check it out if you like it. Okay. If I lead you to my heart, will it kill me? There's some things we need to figure out. If I choose you, you better make it count. Past my fears and hurdled all the doubts. Why you? Why me? Contemplate and spending my time with you. Do I believe the things you say are true? I'm giving you a special part of me. Confide in me. Don't lie to me. Yeah. 
questions so i mean not really just thank you guys again very much for um you know joining and also following me on my musical journey and i'm very excited to uh show you guys what's next and uh, hopefully make all you guys happy and proud thank you Victoria. thank you guys so much for having me you guys later well, it was a great live having Victoria answer a question for you guys. Very good. Well, I like that last song. I, no, I like the last song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, all right. And one thing I got to say is that's just a preview of, like, Victoria's talent. There's many more to come, especially being the first girl in our Saatchi. So, y'all stay tuned. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Victoria, for joining as well. Thanks and for, for having me. And we love you all. And yeah. take care. Later. Bye, Victoria. Bye, right. guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.